So let's create some text effect from this too, that using Adobe Illustrator. First things first, you need to have some text already typed on the screen. Right click and create outlines. With thumb fonts, you will have some ragged parts. You can get rid of them by going to Pathfinder and uh, you will use Unite to get rid of those rigged parts. So and if you don't know where it is, you can just go to Windows and uh, you will find it at the bottom. Or you can hold Shift, Control, Plus, F9 to get the Pathfinder tool. So now we shall go to Effect and uh, I will straight go to 3D and Materials. So 3D Classic, then Rotate Classic. So uh, I'm going to go to position and I'm going to pick isometric top and I'll click OK. So when I'm done with that, there is an outline I want to get rid of that. So we shall go to object and we expand the appearance. So after expand the appearance, I think you can see there is no outline no more. So this text, we can ungroup it so that we can get rid of that mask. So right click again and release a clipping mask. So there is a, a rectangle there. If I move these sides, I think you can see it is there. So we can get rid of it by hitting delete to erase it from the artboard. So now this is the object that we are going to uh, use to make our effect. So now uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to copy. Then I'm going to go back to edit, then I'm copy in front or paste in front, sorry. Now I'll go to color swatches and currently I don't have any colors here, but uh, you don't have to worry. You can go sideways, this side where there is a fill and uh, a stroke. So we shall pick fill and I'm going to choose something like orange and click OK. So now I'm not, I'm not going to click anywhere. I will just go to object um, uh, and I'm going to go straight to um, envelope distort. And then, then I'm going to pick make with uh, mesh. So I'm going to select to select my columns. I'm going to make like seven and the rows. I'm going to make like five. And I'll click OK. So right now I can go and pick my direct selection tool, which I can also get by hitting here on a keyboard. So I'll just click on those points to make uh, adjustments. So I just click once on that point and trick it as you wish and that's it guys and if you have enjoyed my video you can leave a like and also a comment and uh, please don't forget to subscribe to see more of this thank you for watching peace